Good morning. It is 9am on Wednesday the 24th of April and it's time for today in my bujo. How are ya? Are you alright? Um, no, I've just... <laughs> Literally, I just had, I just knocked the baby monitor off of the thing. It tried to kill me. Um, I have witnesses. <laughs> Do you know what? I knew when I dropped Daryl off this morning, it was going to be one of those days. And for everybody who is all like, oh, no, no more Daryl. He is only at preschool Monday, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So, you know, if you still get him for over half the week, guys. He'll be here tomorrow. <coughs> He had a good first day back after the Easter holidays. There was lots and lots of running. Lots of it. <clears throat> um, sorry, I've got a frog in my throat. So, you saw me fill that in, but I didn't actually tell you where I was roughly on the old step count. So, let's have a look. You ready? Sink it up. And 29,344. Not bad if I do say so myself. That's 12.31 miles. I think some. Yeah, yeah, look, no, it's up there with the first day. <clears throat> and before I went to bed, I did the worktops, I swept the floor, and I got my son to put the bins out because I was already dressed for bed. After having a nice hot bath. Oh, see what I mean? I am all fingers and thumbs today, guys. Right, so. Right. I've been looking for this style of stencil, but in smaller. And unfortunately, the company I got this from don't do this any smaller. I'm super bummed because I love this style. So I'm going to have to go on a hunt and buy some more stencils. I think because these are 60 mil and I think that um, 40 might be. Because, <clears throat> yeah, well, I mean, they are just over 60 mil, to be honest. If you go from the top of one number to the bottom of the other, that's 64 mil. Now, from there to there is 40 mil which might be a bit better but I'd love to find it in this style so if you guys see he listed it as like a French numbers um and I've messaged him this morning and he's already come back and said no we don't do that style any smaller which is a bit of a bummer so there you go I journaled a bit yesterday just to add in Sorry. Of course, that's come out of nowhere. I'm absolutely fine. <clears throat> I hit start recording. <clears throat> and there's a fucking great frog in my throat. So, we have changed the pen, which means we go back to the beginning. And we start off by doing the weather. <clears throat> it's grey. The sun has abandoned us. We have been abandoned and did. did. <clears throat> oh my goodness me. Shut up, woman. Uh, today is overcast, it says. I'm not really sure how to draw that. I need like the palest of pale <coughs> greys. Let's have a look and see what I've got. There we go, just ever such a slight <coughs> grey to it without it being too dark like this up here because it's not, it's just overcast. It's not raining at the moment. There's a chance of rain now, it says. Or is that later? Mm, so that 
Yeah, so there might be a little bit of rain later. Okay, so let's go. It's still quite warm though. I put the temperature on, I'll put it right in the middle. My nib is almost gone on this pen and I'm determined to use it until I can't use it no more. Right, the sunrise was 0553. <clears throat> Sunset will be 813 apparently. Oh, see, it says scattered clouds there. Does this cycle through, does it? Or something. When the picture changes. I wonder if that's what it does. If it rains, I'm going to come back and add little raindrops to this. Okay. Because at the moment, it's not raining. And I don't... It feels cold, though. It feels like it's going to. You know... Right, I have put day face cream on. Um, do I need to do it? Yeah, let's do a card. I'm going to pull the Enchanted Tarot again. Right, and I'm also going to mute this because it's really starting to piss me off. I must remember to leave these out today so that I um, can try the anti-static you know, using my anti-static pad on them. <laughs> oh dear. <clears throat> I think I might go to the range tomorrow. Do you guys have the range in the States? I don't think you do. It's um, it's a shop that sells homeware goods. You know, everything from plants and flowers, real and fake, to um, gardening equipment, and then they've got like a craft section and um, it's not a bad craft section. Do you know what? Would you be interested if I did like a little like out and about vlog of this kind of thing? You know, because I mean, I've seen vlogs of like when um, there's a, a woman I follow. Oh my word. She's German. And um, she did... Um, a vlog about when Europeans are released in Michaels and um, she said you know she, we, we could have been here all week and we wouldn't have seen it or it was, it was one of the really big Michaels stores the range is shit in comparison but it's all I've got I don't you know I, I, I don't even have hobby craft here um, I've got the works but that's even crappier so you know would you like out and, out and about because I'll have Daryl tomorrow, so Daryl and I could do an out and about on the Isle of Wight. We could do like, because we go out on the bus and, you know, I don't travel by car unless I can really help it. I used to really love driving, but now I'm just like, I have the road rage. So. Oh, dear. So, um, yes, I don't, I don't use the car unless I absolutely have to. And that usually just tends to be like today, because my mother wants a lift out to a garden centre that we can get to walking, but we can't get to it because the footpath is on the wrong side of the road. And it is a really, really, really busy road. And um, there's not enough of it to be able to see where the cars are coming, you know, where, where the garden, this particular garden centre is. There's a corner literally just up the road. And um, you can't, and the cars come whizzing around there. It's supposed to be 40 mile an hour, but they don't. It is a popular, popular spot for the um, mobile speed camera to sit, you know. But yeah, I mean, we go out on the bus, and would you, would you want to see that if we vlogged it? Me and Daryl out and about. I want. See, I can't even get hold of a car to pull it out, so I'm thinking I need to anti-static these ten of cups well, that's a nice card cups are to do with emotions and their um, water it's all to do with emotions um look how happy everybody is you know um what you see here are two children playing stomping in the puddles together having an absolute blast now you can either see it that these are the children of this couple here or 
they are the younger version of this couple here. To me, they look like the younger version. But, you know, that that's just, your mileage may vary. Um, if they just bought their first house, or if they just paid it off, you know, uh, is it, are they moving, they're moving forward with their lives, okay? Either way, whether they've just bought it, or whether, you know, they've, they've just finished paying for it, or they've just inherited it, for example. Although, you know, inheriting is usually due to something sad, like the death of a, of a family member. They've got this new house, and look at it. There's flowers lining the path, and there's a rainbow. The birds are singing, and the, even the dog's bloody happy. Look, there's a little water sprite there and all that lot. It's a happy, happy card, isn't it? So I think this is... This is telling me that, you know, you, I'm moving forward. I'm going in the right direction. Um, my emotions are in a good place. Well, we know that because we were talking about this yesterday. So, you know, yeah, everything is in a good place. It's not necessarily talking about a relationship. Or if it is, it's not necessarily talking about a intimate relationship. This could just be a relationship with a friend. I might reconnect with a friend or... Um, you know, I might make a new friend or something like that. But my life is moving forward, which is a really, really good thing. Um, because sometimes you don't realise that your life's moved forward. You get a bit sort of static, you know. And I have quite a nice routine in my life and I'm quite happy with it. But, you know, I'm not denying that sometimes I would like a little bit of excitement. I'm old, not fucking dead. You know? <laughs> so, so there we go. So I need to find a pen and I've left my unused pens out so I'm gonna try one of my Erin Condren ones that Jolyn sent me so let's try the pink one so it is the ten of cups a bit thicker than um than I'm used to but no no they're cool they're cool Okay, so I've put um life is moving forward and it's all going well. New friends or reconnecting may be ahead. And I'm gonna leave those over there and hopefully that will remind me to anti-staticize them. I filled that out last night. We've just filled that up. I need to do my sleep tracker now. Uh yeah, I was in bed before midnight last night. Only just, but I did make it. Had a nice hot bath and then I went to bed and I bloody needed it. So literally on the dot of midnight to when my alarm went off at 7.15 that's quite a good sleep from what I said yeah I was only awake for about an hour and that was the going to sleep part of it so I'm going to bump that up to good today so my friends that live down the road that have the band they've got to gone this weekend which I'm really looking forward to. And it's local, which means I get to walk there and walk home and dance my socks off, and it'll be great. And because it's local, it means I bump into people that I know, which is always good fun. Going out when, to places that you don't know is great, um, like we did a couple of weeks ago. But there's always this whole, especially when you get a lift with people as well, you always get the whole, if I feel too uncomfortable, I can't leave because the band drove me out there, you know? And it's kind of like, mm. Right, I've done the loo. That's about all I've done though. So I'll check the laundry before I leave the house today. Um, where are we now? Here we are up to here. Okay, so I should have had some money switch accounts. Just find that. Uh, uh, I'm like dropping money there. Tells me that I have. Yeah, I have. Oh, a bit broke this week. So that money's been transferred. That's good. Right, I'm gonna add there. Um, the static cards. Right. So. Yeah, I think on the whole, although I love the stencils that I've got, they're nice and big and chunky, these and the other sets, I'm going to need smaller ones because I just don't have enough room. I know some days I don't write very much at all, but most days I do, even if it's just sort of describing what I did that day. You know? Right. 
But it's like tomorrow. We're going to go out tomorrow. Oh, the bloody threads. Um, we're going to go out tomorrow. And I might want to write quite a bit. Oh, that's my receipt for my mark. See, I tend to fill up a page, so you know. So we're on gold champagne today. Lovely, lovely. Oh, I'm getting better at picking these up, you know. That's what I picked up again. I did see some nice stamps on eBay, and I showed them to Wendy, and I went, "Oh, look at these!" And they were really, really nice. And I really, really wanted them. And then last night I thought, when "Does that auction end?" It ended yesterday at 11 a.m., and my phone hadn't fucking notified me. So whoever bought those Paper Mania stamps on eBay UK yesterday at 11 o'clock for sort of six or quid for the whole set of numbers, you're an asshole. Because I wanted them. They were really nice. Now my bank's having a paddy. Because it's like, you know you're getting close to your overdraft. You should pay some money in. And I'm like, dude, I'm close to it. Not in it, you know. And chances are that's an account that I use very, very rarely. And because it is now at zero, it's like flipping out. I'm so pissed off because I can't, I can't lose weight because I'm a pig, and I love my food, and I love junk food, and I wake up in the morning and I'm starving. Hmm, I've got an imperfection on the paper, or maybe it must have been a dot of glue or something. But I'm not losing weight because I'm eating crap. So I need to get. Back to eating better again. Stop eating so many fucking chips. I love chips. And by chips, I don't mean potato chips. I mean fries, to those of you in the US. Because they are yummy and you have loads of salt on them and loads of vinegar and sauce to dip them in and you put them in. Butties. Oh, chip butties. Those are so dangerous. It's like a fucking carb explosion. I want chip butty now. So, the prompts for today are... Dum dum da dum. Huddy. Okay. The words are no time, as in the herb. And cherry blossom. Oh, cool. Hmm. I wonder... I wonder if that's soaked through from there and if it's gone through like several pages, that glue spot thing there. Or if it just seems to be on those two pages. Hmm. Probably if I close the end of the book we are. 5, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And I know that I am really behind on this. I can't remember which one I did last. Is that one? I think that's Decris. So I'm going to have to catch up. I might do that later. But Wednesdays are a bit hectic for me because I'm out and about with my mum. So I do little hearts around my photos. Look. <laughs> I didn't on the spot. I was going to draw a flower and then I just started writing and that was it. So I love that colour ink. It's fantastic. It's Japanese ink. And the only place I could get it was in the States. And last summer, I had friends coming over to visit from the States. So I said to her, if I order this and get it delivered to your house, could you bring it with you? So she said, yeah, that's, that's absolutely fine. This bottle of ink was huge. Hang on. Is it that one? No, that's too jacky. What was this one? It's the other one that was really huge. It's this ink. And... Um, I think I've linked down to it down below. I know I have got it written somewhere to link it down below. <laughs> but, um, oh, yeah, and I can't get it here, which is really, really, really upsetting. But I love the colour. It's a sort of purpley, bluey. It's almost like archival ink that um, they used to use here in the UK on your birth certificates. And I love it. I just love the colour of it. So I, I also like that one. Although it's a bit tealy. So what I'm thinking is that I might try mixing the two inks to see what I get. You know? What do you think? 
Hmm. I might have to experiment on that. Because, like I said, that one, as soon as it even gets a hint of watercolour, it goes bananas. But And then I've got my purple one, which goes in my purple pen. Which I really, really like that one. Anyway, I'm waffling. It's because I need to go and clean down the road, and I don't want to. Because, you know. All I seem to do is yawn at you guys lately. I'm so sorry. I'm so tired at the moment. Anyway, right. I'm offed. <laughs> I'll go and get on with my day. So, yeah, if um, a vlog tomorrow is something you guys fancy seeing, I won't do it as part of today, my bujo. I, I, I don't know, though. Depends on how much we do. If we only do a little bit, I will insert it in. If not, I'll do it as a separate video. We'll have to see. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how much footage I end up with. Okay, but I might. <gasps> oh, pardon me. Insert it in somewhere. Right. I will see you guys later. And um... God, shut up, woman! Bloody hell! Have a fantastic day. See you in the evening edition. Bye. <laughs> so I've just realised it's Wednesday. That means I'll be alive tonight. Um, so there won't be an evening edition to today in my bujo. I'm going to sign it off here and try and get it uploaded so that there'll be a couple of hours for everybody to watch it if they want to. Um, or, you know, if you're watching it after the live. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I've only literally just realised what day it is. I've got a slight head going on and I've been out with my mother and Wednesdays are always manic why the hell I do a live on a Wednesday I don't know but there we go actually I think it was it's, it's your fault because you voted for me to do it on Wednesdays yeah so um I'm gonna ambulance so I'm going to close off the blog here and um, hopefully get it uploaded by about 3.30pm UK time. Uh, there'll be a live tonight, about 7.30ish, hopefully. <laughs> I haven't sketched it, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, and it's going to have to be split because it is the week that bridges April and May. So um, I should be doing it partially in my current book and then partially in the new um, book for May. So there you go. Um, thanks very much for watching. Please feel free to give me a thumbs up, hit the book, subscribe, bell, notified, all that business, comments. Remember, Daryl says we like comments. Oh, and let me know whether you want me to do the vlog thing tomorrow, out and about. Um, I think I might go and do a little bit of shopping and, you know, wander around, whatever. Yes. Um, yeah, okay. So I'll see you all later. Have a fantastic rest of your day. <laughs>